good morning from Hamilton, North Shore, Brisbane, Australia. Uh, today we are going to show you quickly uh, how to charge using DC charger, uh, which is part of uh, Queensland Super Highway. Queensland Super Highway, which is the longest electric uh, highway in the world in one state. And uh, what we are going to use today is a Chedema adapter that is a very handy thing. And I carry it in front here. So quickly remove the, the adapter. And there is a few things that people had issues with this charger so we are going to clarify this now most importantly uh, you have to notice that this trigger button on this Chademo will not open the charge port uh, it's something to do with the DC chargers they don't communicate to the Tesla car so now I'm gonna hold the rear trunk button for three seconds to open the charge port and this is the first step to open the charge port. The second step is to remove this uh, port from the charger itself. And there is uh, two notches here, so beware when you push it in, this has to align. So basically, like so, you hold it nicely by the handle and you push it in firm. It has to click and you will hear the beep there. That means it's triggered and connected. And then simply I push it into the, the charging port and now it's locked and now it's not charging yet so we'll have to come here and uh, set up max I've done a mistake first time I was charging this and I, then I was surprised why it charged only up to 80% and you press this button it goes to max and then this is flashing so pretty uh, intuitive and start and slowly yeah, it's bringing up current 48% uh, uh, charge state of charge of the battery and this is the time that you will be spending here to in total and kilowatts at the end how much you took in to the battery now i have a privilege of uh, my dear friend uh, who thanks to i got this adapter who is holding the camera and recording here with me it's such a joy to have someone and uh, cooperate and uh, talk and he is a celebrity he doesn't want to be shown on the camera yet maybe he will in the near future so this car this car is powered by approximately 5,000 of these batteries these battery cells are this specific one is 3.7 volts and this one is only 3,000 milliamp hours uh, so uh, approximately 5,000 of these can make this car run for 360 kilometers combined voltage is obviously higher than this but isn't this amazing how far we've come uh, from uh, this size to uh, electric powered cars and uh, so that's one of the things I wanted to talk about uh, as I mentioned in previous videos amazing uh, battery uh, temperature management in these ones allow a long lasting battery life uh, another thing I w wanted to talk about is how uh, we spend time while vehicles are charging uh, a friend of mine here mentioned that uh, he, not long ago he bought electric bicycles. So there is many options people, uh, many uh, things people do while their car is charging. Some people sit in the car, work on their emails uh, and um, things like work. It's a great mobile office by the, by the way. Some people go for a walk and get to know surrounding area. That's what I love doing. Uh, and uh, some people get on electric bicycles and travel even further in a big radius electric cars, electric bicycle, it's heading towards a fully sustainable, uh, efficient and ecological uh, way of spending time. Some people go shopping, eating uh, toilets, most, most importantly there is always toilets in the area, except for one spot so far in Sydney, North Shore, when you get there after 8 o'clock there is no toilet open, so that, that's a bit of a challenge, so Sydney, please uh, do something about it. Uh, so that's how we spend time, getting to know the areas, uh, doing um, things online or going around and getting to know things around there. I'm just seeing a beautiful big uh, pelican I think there, something that doesn't matter, I get distracted now. Now what I wanted to talk about is uh, an incident that uh, a member of WhatsApp Queensland has experienced a few days ago. He has a beautiful red Tesla Model S. And uh, he found that uh, he got to the car uh, and he 
didn't see the front fascia, it's uh, the classic model. So on the front uh, face or the uh, mustache was gone, including the number plate. And guys, uh, this is something I have never heard before, but uh, if uh, the guy who's done this is watching, please make sure you return it. Uh, the footage has been recovered. Uh, remember that most cars these days have uh, dash cams, front and rear, and it's easy to see what's going on. So whoever took this number plate, very uh, like interesting number plate, it said battery. So in case you see registration plate, battery, one word, uh, somewhere, please contact us via this uh, comment via under this video or contact police directly. Uh, the gentleman has been identified from that uh, footage, uh, and the person, so make sure if you uh, are watching, you return this and there will be possibly no consequences to this. Guys, watch out, uh, have a dash cam, at least in front or at rear as well. It's maybe important because it's interesting uh, how things uh, get uh, missing. If you love the car, love the technology, uh, go to tesla.com, book a test drive and uh, representatives at uh, Tesla, Fortitude Valley or any showroom will spend one hour with you, 20 minutes driving and it's so much fun. I'm posting a referral link below this video for goodies that uh, Tesla is doing and uh, interesting things uh, for you uh, to benefit when you use uh, referral link below this video. And now we'll quickly check how far we've come. We've been here for four minutes and it's now 54% already, so 6% up and we've already taken 3.1 kilowatt hours. So these chargers are one of the most beautiful ones out there. I've noticed, I had a look at other ones they are so popular that they are being shipped around the world. Uh, we've, uh, we know that they are shipped to America, They're, they are in Norway, uh, and uh, hopefully soon you will see them all, all around the world as much as uh, Tesla superchargers. So these chargers are made here in uh, Marari in Brisbane, and they are amazing addition uh, to this uh, electric uh, revolution that is happening around the world. Thank you and uh, feel free to subscribe if you like this video to help me continue with this, uh, this uh, education uh, for more and more people. I'll see you in the next one. How fast does this charge compared to the supercharger? Uh, thank, you, thank you for asking. Uh, this one charges at 50 kilowatt hours uh, maximum comparing to Tesla that does 120 kilowatt hours. Yeah. In kilometers, this one charges around 200 kilometers per hour. Once around 400, so roughly double for Tesla. Uh, usually around an hour here for a reasonable charge. Uh, Tesla could be 45 minutes, half an hour, depending. Uh, so this is one of the 18 uh, superchargers in Queensland. They are all operational except for one in Helensvale. There will be uh, Commonwealth Games uh, happening on the Gold Coast uh, in about three weeks' time. And as soon as the Commonwealth Games are finished, Helensvale will be operation, op operational as well. I heard that this one charged at a constant rate, whereas the supercharger, depending on the level of charge in your car, do you know much about that? I don't think you yeah. are right. Yeah. Uh, we will check on the display in the yeah, car. It is yeah. possible. I understand that the Tesla one, when the battery is flat, it goes very quick very and then quick, it slows down. Slows down. And okay. this one, I haven't noticed. Uh, uh -huh, so, uh -huh. great point. Okay. Thank you.